In today's video, we are going to discuss how does Uber calculate their ETA estimated time of arrival. Now, it's very important for any rideshare app to get their ETA estimates down correctly because if they don't, if they're inconsistent with that, then people are just going to stop using the app. People want reliability and they want to reliably know how long it's going to take them to get from point A to point B. Now, Uber did this the right way. They now support around 18 million trips per day. So they did something right to retain their customers. I have a link to the article in the description down below. So feel free to look at it whenever you want. Here are the ETA use cases. There are essentially four scenarios in which Uber would compute ETA. The first one is eyeballing. When the rider enters in the destination for the first time in their app, Uber will calculate ETA. And once they dispatch or if the car picks you up, the ETA changes drastically. And on your trip, your ETA needs to be constantly updated. We're going to look through an example of how they do this. We're going to take San Francisco here. This beautiful city will be turned into something familiar. It will be a graph. And this graph, we're going to take a closer look at. The nodes of this graph represent street intersections. Every street that you see here is the edge. This looks already a lot familiar to what we see on lead code. This is a directed graph where the nodes are the road intersections and the edges are called road segments. The road segment contains a weight to it and this weight is the traffic information. So this is a function of the time of day, the weather, the number of vehicles around and some more variables that the article doesn't mention. And also it takes the historical weights into consideration to calculate the current weight. And this weight represents the time that it would take to go from one node to the other on that edge. We assign a numerical value to it. So we're essentially staring at a directed graph where every edge contains a weight to it and we're asked to find the shortest possible distance from point A to point B, Dijkstra's algorithm. But guess what? Uber does not use Dijkstra's algorithm. San Francisco has more than a million road intersections. So that means we've got more than a million nodes to work with. So n log n is just not feasible where n is over a million. So instead, the smart engineers at Uber decided that they were going to partition this graph into smaller graphs and solve for the sub problems. So by doing this, they're able to find the best distance between the boundaries of the partitions. So they're only dealing with the nodes closer to the perimeters of these partitions. And once they do that, they can construct the shortest best possible distance to go from point a to point b if you're on your trip this is the get request that you would submit to uber this is the get eta request and this is going to contain the gps signal this payload will contain latitude longitude direction and speed with this what uber is going to do is it's going to take the gps signal and it's going to try and to find the appropriate road segment that's associated with that GPS signal. Now, if the GPS signal is really accurate, then it's no problem. But a lot of times, GPS signal can not be accurate. For example, if you're going through a tunnel or if you're next to a giant structure, then you fall into the multi-path effect. And so the GPS signal becomes very sparse and inaccurate. So Uber does map matching where it puts in potentially faulty GPS signal inputs. And through a couple of algorithms, it's able to derive the appropriate road segment. These are basically guessing algorithms where if you put in a faulty input, it will still spit out the correct output. So with faulty GPS signal, it will find the correct road segment. And once you have the correct road segment, it's easy to get the partitioned maps and then calculate the distance. And then it returns the ETA back to the client. This model supports over half a million requests per second. This is basically how Uber calculates ETA 